Hey YouTube, this is Goth the King Cobra with another video, also known as, now known as King Cobra GFS. Um, my lips are red because I've been drinking some of the, uh, Vodka here. Um, I came up with an idea for a drink combination, so I'm gonna make it right now. Okay, I'm gonna fill up my skull coffee cup here. Okay. With some of this vodka. Uh, I have a little drink, I will admit that. Half vent. Vampire Vodka Half Neurosonic And what you get here is um my newest drink combination, Cobra's Cyanide. And it's pretty damn good. Some people are saying, isn't it just really coincidence you like all your drink combinations? Not necessarily. Before I make a drink combination, I think I'll drink something I'm gonna use. Okay. I love the taste of the vampire vodka and the, and the Sonic here. The um Neurosonic. Um, so it's a matter of thinking things through and going, oh look who they have here. Two different drinks. Let's see if they taste like together. <laughs> I bought some eyeliner from Walmart. I lost it, so I went and got some more today. After work, this is um Revlon Color Stray, and it's like a Sharpie marker basically. And I gotta say, it's a lot better than the liquid shit I was getting on Hot Topic. And the reason I got it was to have skull on it and some Hot Topic, but this is a lot better than that shit I was getting. It's not liquid, so. It won't you know, it's just, uh, just drawn on, easy to use, and um, um, doesn't require much thought process. Just and this is actually the best my eyeliner has looked in a long time, and it's a lot better than what I would have if I would use liquid eyeliner because liquid eyeliner tends to run. This is done in a sharpie form, so like a marker basically. So. Yeah, so it works a lot better for me. Cobra cyanide. Cheers. Unfortunately, the vodka makes my rip, my lips red like lipstick. So it looks like I'm wearing lipstick. Oh well. I'm going to a bar later on tonight, so yeah. 
but um, yeah. Yeah. I'm having an awesome hair day too. My hair is just awesome today. It's all soft, straightened, and combed. Yeah, I found my comb. Uh, I didn't lose it. It just got stuck in my wallet. I ended up taking a um, Casper cab instead of the uh, yellow cab, and um, it was a lot cheaper. And not only that, but yellow cab is actually driving around Casper with an unmarked cab. Basically, that's that's a major, major, major no-no in the cab industry. I heard this from the cab driver that gave me a ride to Wendy's. So yeah. Oh boy, that vodka stains my lips like a blood, blood red. It's all right, it fits my look, so I don't care. <laughs> kind of sick looking, actually. Like. I'm gonna get my nails painted too, so I do like a black, a light green, and then a dark green. I use my old nail polish, but then I did the first layer in black. And then it tips off with the dark, darker green, and then even darker green like this. Yeah, it looks like shit right now. It's because I, yeah. But once all the side stuff washes off, it'll, it'll look good. I don't have to wear nail polish at Wendy's, obviously, but I have nail polish remover, so I got no problems with taking it off before I go to work. Yeah. Oh boy. I've already had a cup of this cobra cyanide and a couple shots of the vodka, so I'm feeling just a little tipsy. Just, just a little, just a little tipsy. Tomorrow's my day off, so I figured now I can have a couple of drinks just relax. Still there. <laughs> yes, indeed. Now, being as Wyoming, particularly Casper, is kind of a, more a cowboy state, or this is the country and all that. I might get some strange looks when I walk into the bar. Like, who the fuck is this freak? Hmm. <laughs> if you don't know who King Cobra JFS is, also known as King, not the King Cobra, also known as Josh Saunders, you're living a sheltered life. <laughs> That sounds so egotistic of me, doesn't it? Well, the thing is, I've seen these um, parodies of me on YouTube, so funny, sh funnier than shit. So yeah, <laughs> I first started off on YouTube. No one knew who I was, so my uh, fame is slowly but surely spreading, like your mom's legs. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyway, um, uh, last night, like before, my friend Chris came over and had a couple of drinks and relaxed a bit. And we were looking for um, a little plug-in piece, the adapter for my wireless guitar for Guitar Hero. My friend Chris thought I was in the closet back there. And we had a box full of crap in there, and we were looking through it and we got sidetracked. I ended up finding the um, piece we were looking for in the white tub next to my computer, so... That was rather ironic. Um, while I was in that, while we were looking through the closet and, and stuff, we found a box full of stuff, several boxes full of stuff, just random miscellaneous crap. And we came across a um, photo album, the one on the bed over there. So yeah, I started looking through this and. This picture of me when I was a little kid when my dad and my stepmom had just married. Um, and it's got just a bunch of random ass photos. 
stuff. And while I was looking through this um, photo album of mine, I actually found a picture of my biological mom, who I've not seen since I was 13 years old. Last time I saw each other, we went to this little pizza restaurant and ate there, and it, and it, um, we were like strangers. <laughs> ah, here we go. Uh, my mom and mom would send me stuff like clothes, toys, and candy and stuff, and I asked her to stop. And it always pissed me off when she did it, and my parents couldn't figure out why I was pissing me off. But keep in mind, I was a little kid back then, four or five or six years old, you know. And so one day they asked, Josh, why does it make you mad when, when your mom sends you stuff? And I said, well, because she's trying to be a mom when I know Tannis is being the mom. And the way I expressed it was at least ten years ahead of my time. It's probably having Asperger's. Anyway, it says, this photo here says, To Joshua, with love, with lots of love, your mommy, Laura. 1298. It's my mom, Laura. The resemblance is quite striking. Did it? Striking? <laughs> but that's my biological mom back then. Okay. I look more like my mom. I look more like my dad, to be honest with you. I've had people say, he looks more like your dad. I'm like, no, no. Similarities, yes, but I look more like my mom, to be honest with you. That's the way I see it. So I'm flipping through this um, photo album of mine here. It was in a box of stuff in the closet there. When I, when I got to the apartment here, I just kind of took the majority of it and threw it in the uh, closet there and left it there and then got everything else unloaded and settled in and shit so yeah in fact when I was a baby I wasn't fully developed um my lungs hadn't developed and shit like that so here's a picture of me in the um There's a picture of me in the incubator when I was a baby. <laughs> and of course I have a bunch of other pictures in here which just fucking spilt out. Uh, weak. Fucking uncool, dude. Son of a bitch. These are all just random ass fucking photos of my childhood. God damn it. This is the kind of shit you don't want to happen when you're starting to get drunk. It's just like, really? God. Damn it. Um. <sighs> Fucking hell. <sighs> this shit's getting annoying. There we go. <laughs> wow. Now, my, my mom's second husband, Mark, they had a kid, Christina, that's my other half-sister. Um, I haven't talked to her in a while, but there's a picture of her when she was just a baby. <laughs> I hope she's doing all right. Because um, I think the only decent guy my mom actually managed to hook up with so far that I know of is my dad. But every other guy she married after that, the second husband was kind of psychotic, just saying. Oh, look, here's another picture of me in the incubator. Aww. <laughs> my, how I've grown since then. <laughs> Picture of my grandma holding me when I was a kid, baby, right there. She's still around too, which is really cool. But, and his picture of my, her husband, my granddad, holding me when I was a baby. <laughs> um, and I have, I shit you not, I have two sets of grandparents and three sets of great grandparents. 
I was pretty impressed everyone's more in the and age. So, <laughs> wow. The grandparents, I'm pretty sure I just showed you, this is their house in Billings they had with the brown carpet. Huh. <laughs> wow. It's a picture of my dad sitting on a banana chair and I'm sitting on top of his head. <laughs> Look at that. Right there. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. It seems like yesterday since this happened, and holy shit. <coughs> yeah, my dad met my stepmom, she had her dog Ellen, and Christmas of that year, my mom brought home chocolate, the brown lab. So the black dog is Ellen, the brown dog's chocolate. There's me on the couch. It's my old dogs. <laughs> When they were youngins. What's a picture of Ellen when she was young? Aw, oh, so cute. And Ellen wasn't exactly the brightest dog in the world, but she was one of the sweetest dogs you'd ever meet. It's a picture of my stepmom when she was younger. And then my stepmom's mom, my grandma, holding me. Why the fuck would I show you this shit on YouTube? Because, quite frankly, this tripped me the fuck out when I saw it the other day. Made me realize that time flies way too fast. Oh boy. Bless <coughs> 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 if you didn't see that picture. Picture me in the bathtub with my bare ass hanging in the. <laughs> I was a little kid. Oh, good God. Every parent does that, the whole bear rug bullshit. Man, if it, my parents would have found this picture, they would have like, Stephanie, come here! Look at your boyfriend, he was two or three years old, his ass hanging in the bathtub. Uh -huh. I remember, like, seriously? God damn it, Mom, Dad, really? <laughs> wow. Um. Back in the day, my Aunt Shannon and Uncle Michael used to live next door to this guy who was a family friend. And he dressed up like Santa Claus one year and uh, came to my aunt's house, my, my aunt and uncle's house, when I was a kid, pretending to be Santa Claus. It's me with my aunt and my dad and Santa Claus. I remember that year, too. My mom and my real mom and my dad just divorced and. My real mom called the cops on my dad, saying he did some shit he didn't do. Which meant we had to cut our trip short and drive back to Miles City, Montana, and deal with that bullshit. So, yeah. Just trips me out looking through these cool hills, man. It's like, holy shit, dude. Back of this says Joshua Saunders, six years old. Christina, six months old. Eight, nine, year 1997. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. My, how time flies. <laughs> wow. Just picture me and my grandma's old horse, Sonny. Man, that horse was the oldest horse ever. Like, I bullshit you not. This horse, I've been around since my mom was a kid, my stepmom, and by the time the horse had finally passed away from old age, um, it was blind and just older than dirt. And, man, I tell you what, the horse is fucking awesome. But here's one. Those are, those are my grandmother's house, my stepmom's mom, 
one of the horses I remember growing up was my grandma, my grandma used to own this horse called Socks, and here's a picture of Socks. Man, that me, me and that horse were best buds, man. That was that was my boy, man. I will tell you what. And I've always had a special connection with animals because, quite frankly, I'm not a people person. <laughs> uh, my grandma had my grandma rides horses and stuff, and um, um, she had this one horse, Socks, and I was. I remember Socks too, he was the coolest horse ever, dude. I remember this one time, I was helping my grandma feed her horses, my stepmom's mom. And I consider that my real family anyway, because, you know, I grew up with those, with those people in my lives. Um, <clears throat> I don't remember the last time I think I saw my biological grandparents <coughs> <coughs> on my mom's side. Because I was a little kid. But anyway, I went to feed the horses hay, right? And um, the horse, the horse here, Socks, had, like, sneeze, like, <laughs> you know how horses sneeze, right? It was funnier than shit, and I'm sitting there laughing my ass off. And then he has this big string of horse mucus dangling from his nose, and I'm just, like, laughing my ass off. It was awesome. But uh, I think the last year I saw him before he passed away was, um, you know, my grandma couldn't take him to charters practice or whatever because uh, he was sick. And I remember sitting there, you know, thinking, well, this kind of sucks, you know. <laughs> and he was a pretty awesome horse, you know. So, yeah. There's a photo of... We had a family reunion for the Saunders family um, in Gillette, and <sighs> packages. Hold on a second. And um, we were driving by this house, and they had a project car sitting on their um, driveway, and it had a crank in it. And I thought it was a Model T, but looking back on it now, I think it might, be, might have been something else. But, um, I saw it, and I was, like, obsessed with Model T's back then. I still am in fucking awesome cars. And I'm like, Dad, Dad, look at the car. And it stops, and I got to take a look at it and stuff, and my dad took a picture of me trying to crank the car. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. But yeah, going through this, these photos of mine just trips me the fuck out, dude, because... Oh, I can't remember the names. Holy crap, dude. Some childhood friends of mine. These two are brother and sister, and... Oh, God, yeah, that's the photo. Uh, poor YouTuber scarred for life. Uh... I can't remember their name, but it seems like yesterday, dude. No smoker's cough, Josh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Look at that. There's me as a baby playing on the honky tonk piano. Right there. <laughs> right there's my great grandparents. They're still around today. They're in their 90s right now, but yeah. It's crazy. Picture my real mom, Laura. Me as a kid. <laughs> Look at that. Right there. This man Shan told me when I was a kid. A baby, I should say.
Oh, it's a picture of my dad's old Mustang right here. My dad had a 66 Mustang. Emerald Globe metallic paint with um, pony parchment interior, all original. And my dad was constantly telling me stories about how he drink and drive from that thing. And the one day he totals it, it's in a, he hits, hits a fucking deer on our drive in Casper. And he can't afford to fix the front end because he's, because I'm being born. So he has to sell it to <laughs> pay for my hospital bills and shit. Okay, um, I think so, Sister Tiana, where she was born, and I don't know whose dog this is, but, yeah, it was me as a kid, like a little kid. I don't remember whose dog this was, though. But yeah, I was growing up with dogs and cats and horses and shit. Ah, picture of Big Ben. Two pictures of Big Ben. Fucking sweet. When I was a little kid, I was obsessed with bell and clock towers and stuff like that, and I thought they were cool, so, yeah. Oh, I'm old classmates. <laughs> Holy shit. 1999. Oh, there's Ellen. Not the smartest dog in the bunch because, you know, back when we did Tahoe, this is the last year we, well, one of the last years we had her, um, she freaking decided to lay down in the middle of the fucking street and just, just sit there panting. It's just like, oh my god, really? <laughs> wow. This is a little outdoor pool that had like these little dolphins that squirted water and um there's me sitting on top of one. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You ever go through your old photos of when you're a kid just reminisce reminisce about your past? One year for Halloween, <laughs> um, my dad went as Gomez, my mom went as Morticia from the Amos family, my sister Tiana was Pooh Bear, and I was a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can... I remember going to this little Halloween party, too, we had at the uh, community center, and this one guy started making fun of me for having a skunk costume, plus he didn't dress up for Halloween, so I told him to piss off, and... We're trying to spray him like a skunk would. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> well, here's me in fourth grade. We had a history project where we had to like, stand in front of the class and act out a part for the character we were doing a report on. I think that was Ben Franklin or some shit. I don't fucking remember. Oh yeah, I was a handsome devil back then. I still am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. I can't remember her name, but it's this teacher I had a crush on in elementary school. <laughs> no, I can't remember her name, though. Fucking A. Chelsea and Trevor. Ah, I found the names of um, some of my friends from way back when. Chelsea's five years old and Trevor's four years old. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Some childhood friends of mine, like from way back in the day, like when I was a little kid. Huh. All right, let's fuck my family on Facebook. I would laugh my ass off. That's happened to me before. I had friends I grew up with in elementary school, and 
I found him on Facebook. <laughs> There's a picture of me on Christmas when I got my my harp, for the, my first harp. I still have that harp too, laying at the other house. <laughs> wow. It's just trippy as fuck because it just it brings back a lot of positive memories. Picture of Ellen. Um. Let's see here. Um, to Joshua Saunders with love from Mommy Laura plus Darla 298. I'm assuming that's my biological grandmother. I'm not sure. But yeah. Yeah, the resemblance to my mom is rather striking. I'm pretty sure my mom looks like she wants to fucking kill somebody in this picture. Look at that. She's like, I hate this picture. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> wow. That still trips me the fuck out. When I was a little kid, um, I'm so obsessed with cobras. Oh, I think my mom, or my dad, I can't remember which, I think my mom got me a, a stuffed animal. Cobra type. Um, here I am with it, with it for the photo. <laughs> That's cool. This is one of my more realistic stuffed animals. This thing looks pretty fucking realistic. Just sitting there like, I want to eat you. <laughs> I got this one stuffed animal that was a cobra that I got, and my mom got it from my stepmom. And my dad was taking a nap, so when I brought it home, I played a little prank on him. <laughs> I stuck the, the the cobra. On the bed, well, next to my dad, where he was sleeping. My dad woke up. He's like, "What the fuck? Oh, it's a stuffed animal." I'm sitting there laughing my ass off. You think that's a little cruel, don't you think? Yeah, my dad's done shit like that too. My dad was constantly telling him I'm a conehead and shit. And one day I'm like, "Dad, I am sick and tired of you always lying to me." My dad goes, "I would never lie to you." He always told me I'm a conehead. That's bullshit, you know. My dad goes, "Well, it's true." I'm like, "Yeah, whatever." So one day I was taking a nap, right, and. My dad got into Photoshop and took an old photo of me and gave me a cone head. My dad goes, Josh, I think it's time for you to learn the truth. Pulls up the photo. I'm like, no, it's not true. Fucking asshole. Oh, my God. Ah, uh, you want know, this poster? I still have it, too. It's hanging on the wall. Just the black's missing and it's tortoise shit, but it's still there. <laughs> oh, shit. I dropped the photos on the ground again. God damn it. <laughs> oh, there's Ellen again. One of the sweetest dogs she ever meets. Um, of course, my dad goes over to my stepmom's house for a date before they got married. They're eating lasagna or something like that. My mom makes pretty good lasagna, my stepmom. And as they're eating lasagna, my dad gets up to get something, and Ellen jumps up on the table and eats it off the fucking plate. My dad's just like, oh boy. Aww. This is me snuggling Ellen as a kid. Aww. Ellen and Chocolate do with real female dogs, and they're pretty awesome female dogs. Um. I think it was right around Christmas time we lost Ellen. Um. I come in a phone call from my mom saying Ellen died, and um, I kind of sucked at that age. You know, I was, I was at that little kid age. Basically, um, she died in the house at yeah, my grandma's house. Um, my mom would literally, um, she could tell it was Ellen's time to go, man. So my mom like literally stayed up all night. That was my mom's dog, and you know, laid next to her and stuff. And then she went to bed and woke up the next day and she was just dead on the floor and it was pretty sad. I was really sad too because like I was like one of the family members, you know, so yeah. I didn't eat for two days. But we still had chocolate and chocolate was really pretty awesome too. Um, but um, when I was a lived in North Dakota, before we went to Casper, this is like when we first went to North Dakota, chocolate was pretty fucking old. Um, 
we had our river next to our house. The shelter was swimming in, and she came back so sore as fuck, but man, she was happy, you know. And she tore some of her ligaments in her leg or something like that, and she had to have an operation, so. Um, and the vets that operated on her screwed up big time, and she went and busted her other leg with the same problem, too, and so. You know, and so she was pretty old. She kind of limped around a bit. And that's why that got Obi, you know. <laughs> and um, she kind of locked around this old dog, you know. We moved to the second house in um, North Dakota. And the chocolate was, chocolate was pretty old, too. And um, I can remember waking up, you know. My parent, my, and um, Chocolate was sitting in the back of the car, wasn't moving much. And um, she had to go to the vet again because she was having problems again. And um, I remember sitting there petting her and feeling pretty sad and stuff. And, um, she didn't make it back. So we, um, we got her cremated, right? And, um, so, and we had her buried at my grandma's house. The picture you see me riding the, the horse in the arena there. And a little amusement behind that. Um, my mom and dad send chocolates, ashes, and an urn to the, uh, my grandma granddad's house and um it's Christmas time so they think it's chocolate like candy. My grandma opens up the thing and it's ashes and she's like, Oh my god she closes it and so yeah. <laughs> but um it's one of the best behaved dogs ever, dude. My dad trained that dog right too, so yeah. Um Then we had Obi for a while and then after a while, um we wanted another dog, so we decided to adopt from the pound. That's where I met, met Chance, and he's pretty—he's a pretty awesome dog. And then after we had Chance for a while, um, my little sister Sammy, she wanted uh, another dog, you know. So we got Lily from the pound, and yeah. And if you've seen my videos on my old channel, you know what they look like, but all three of those dogs are mutts, um, mixes, if you will. Um, Obi is a Vishla Brown Lab short hair mix. Um, Chance is a Greyhound, Rat Terrier, Pitbull, Black Lab, Weiner Miner mix, I believe. Always oh, got brown lab too, and then Lily is a black lab boxer mix, and Lily is a pretty fierce dog. She ain't very big, man, but she's one solid ball of muscle. And I'm pretty tall, dude. I'm almost six feet tall, and Lily can literally jump and look me in the eyes, literally. Um, my mom, whenever she goes on a hike, she'll take she'll Lily with, and um, uh, Lily. I've seen like these strange men trying to creep up on my mom. She starts growling, dude. They think, oh, it's a tiny ass dog. I ain't gonna do shit. But you hear her growl, her protective growl. It's very demonic, very deep. And when she barks, too, it isn't her serious protective bark. It, she sounds four times bigger than she really is. <laughs> so it tends to, you know, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> See, my child was, was um, somewhat normal, but the Asperger's did somewhat complicate it. I'm going to put the vodka back in the freezer. I'll be right back.
tell you an interesting experience that happened to me. Now, um, I got a go be This is a couple of months after Chocolate had died. Um, Obi liked to go downstairs and, you know, check everything out. And he'd hop on the bed and he'd sleep, he'd sleep next to you, all cuddled, all cuddled up and shit. Real sweet, like, you know. Well, I remember waking up and feeling like, and hearing what sounded like, sounded like a collar jingling. And then I heard what sounded like, I felt like my bed, like a dog jumping onto it. I'm like, oh, hi, Obi. And, you know, I'm thinking it's Obi, you know. So I'm going to pet him, there's nothing there. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm over there petting this warm mass of air. Okay. That's the size of my old dog, Chocolate. And I'm like, is this chocolate? And then the air got warmer. And I fucking teared up like no other. I was like the, the fucking most powerful emotion ever, dude. It was crazy as fuck, dude. And it was just a sense of relief, you know. Um, I couldn't see it, but I could feel it. Like, I was really petting this shape like a dog, but the air around it was, like, hot and warm. And, um... I said, hi, chocolate. And then I went back to sleep. I woke up and it was still there, the feeling of a dog being on the bed. And I don't care what y'all say, all bestiality comments aside, it's fucking awesome when a dog sleeps with you, dude. I'm not talking sexually, I'm talking like your best friend, dude, your companion, you know what I'm saying? You sit there and it's like snuggling a teddy bear, basically. You know? The fucking dog will wake up and lick your face. Hey, let me outside if you can, damn it. You know? Dogs are just awesome. I don't care what anyone says. But some people are cat people. Hey man, whatever dude. I tolerate cats, but I'm more of a dog person. Because um, I think cats are kind of stuck up. Just the way I see it. They just have this prissy attitude and they walk with their tail flickering and they're like, yeah. But for some odd reason, I have the most amazing gift with animals, dude. Um, When I was a kid, this is back when I was in California, um, I owned a chocolate, right? Our neighbor had a pit bull named Shorty, and that was one of the coolest dogs I ever, dude. But he'd come in, he'd literally jump the fence to our backyard and sit there barking his brains out at my dad while I was sitting on the couch. This dog was fucking psychotic, dude. Um, but he was afraid of my my dogs, and um, this dog was just fucking psychotic, dude. This dog was a head case and a half. Um, now, like, if I'm out, or if we're all, all out in the driveway playing basketball, whatever, as a family, you know, doing whatever, Shorty comes out, starts barking his brains out, just go, you know, just going fucking ballistic and shit. I come outside, and Shorty's just like a puppy, just, oh my god, it's Josh! He fucking comes around and sits around laughing and stuff. He then took the glasses off, and I around in the yard with it, and shit, it's funny as fuck, right? Now, our other neighbor, this dog, got into a fight with Shorty, and... That neighbor was a dumbass. The other neighbor, he was like, he tried to stick his hand between and tell him to knock it off. But you don't do that when the pit bull's fighting. And you can guess what happened. He got bit. And the neighborhood was like, trying to sign a petition to get Shorty put down. And my mom and dad refused to sign it because, you know what I'm saying? Because, for real. Um. I don't think pit bulls are bad dogs. I know that they have a history of killing humans and um, whatnot. I, I personally think that's what do with the way they're raised. Um, and that kind of raising gets passed on to their offspring. Because, man, there's been times I've been walking in the dog park here in Casper or walking around town or whatever, or in any town, and some guy walks by with this pit bull, and this dog is friendly as fuck as. You know what I'm saying? And just friendly as fuck, you know? And it's, it's, it's pretty cool, you know? My dog Chance was... We took him and Obi and Lily to the dog park, right? And Chance is like my buddy, you know? He's the awkward dog of the, of the three. He doesn't quite fit in socially, so I can relate to him, you know? 
And um, we're at the dog park, right? And uh, we had a couple of pit bulls walk by, both males, dude. Fuckers, you can tell they're male, dude. They haven't been fixed. And Shannon's just sitting there barking his brains out and getting in their face and shit, like, what, 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 what's else they want? And they're sitting there going, <laughs> like, they don't even care, you know, they're just like, yeah, whatever. So, I'm like, Chance, you dumb shit, don't, don't do that, come on, Chance, quit. Chance, like, look at me like, you know, it's a dog park, you know, other dog owners and stuff, you get to pet their dogs and stuff, and it's really cool, you know, cool place for dogs. I think Chance saw that and got jealous, <laughs> but, yeah. And Chance is a lot like Ellen in that aspect, not very bright, but one of the sweetest dogs you'll ever meet. Now, me and my family rescued Chance from the um, animal shelter. His previous owners had, um, when he was a pup, boiled him in hot water and then left him out in the cold. Didn't feed him. He came to the shelter with no fur. Fucking assholes. I mean, it's bad enough that humans, we treat you like shit. Okay, whatever. But why the fuck are you actually an animal like shit? Uh, seriously, that's fucking retarded. Dude, that shit fucking pisses me off, dude. For real. You walk into an animal shelter, dude, see all these helpless animals just sitting there with their wide eyes going, Adopt me, please. I don't want to die in here. I need human companionship. It's just, it's fucking heartbreaking, man. It really is. Yeah, I got a better connection to animals than I do with humans, because quite frankly, animals seem to like me for whatever reason. I just mean those dogs that people say, yeah, be careful with this dog. He is not a people person, or she is not a people person. I go up to the dog's fucking friends with me within seconds. I guess that's one of my redeeming qualities is I have a love for animals and nature and stuff like that. Except for mongooses. I fucking hate those animals. Now, I understand that in a fucked up way, the mongooses are actually helping the cobras. Um, because if the mongooses didn't eat the cobras, the cobras would overpopulate and then they'd be extinct. But, you see a YouTube video of a mongoose eating a cobra, she's like, oh, fuck you, asshole. But, it's the circle of life, so. Yeah, my lips are red from the the cobra cyanide. <laughs> so my tongue. Tomorrow's my day off, so I head down to the bar and have a couple of drinks and relax. So, yeah. I bought some um, eyeliner today. Um, A Revlon color something. I, I can't pronounce it right now. I'm a little drunk. <laughs> but it's like a Sharpie. You just draw it on. And you know what? If I had bought this instead of the Hot Topic eyeliner, I probably would have... Yeah. Because the liquid eyeliner is cool because it's got the skull and shit. It's a Hot Topic. But the downside is that it's liquid. So it's a pain in the ass. Just, you know what I'm saying? So. I had bought some liquid eyeliner from Walmart. A couple paychecks ago, and I fucking lost it. What the fuck happened to it? Oh well.
Anyway, this is um, King Cobra Jervis with another video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.